I think we can all agree that Mr. Beast is seen as one of those charitable celebrities in the world and is fairly known as a philanthropist. But not all of his actions are seen as good acts, allegations such as faking videos to even false advertising healthy products. However, there is one celebrity that kind of was like Mr. Beast before Mr. Beast was even making videos. I'm talking about giving free items to strangers. <laughs> making challenges for the reward of money and overall being known as a celebrity that gives away money. In this video, we will be going through the controversial career of Willy Rivalema, the Mr. Beast of the Philippines. How about this? Let's, let's give $1,000 away to someone who subscribes to your channel in the next five days. Does this just do well on videos, helping people? Or is it like a genuine need to help people? Hey! Bigger than Jackie Jack! In the year of 1961, in the region of Nueva Siva, Philippines, Willy Buendia Revilliame was born to an impoverished and separated family. His mother was only a 15-year-old waitress, while his father was an engineer. Will grew up with his mother's side of the family. Growing up, Will watched the noontime variety show It Bulaga. Will tried dentistry in college but dropped out at second year tried out music but also dropped out. However, he decided to use his music knowledge to join in the TV show business, becoming a drummer for a musical variety show, climbing up the ranks until becoming a TV host for multiple broadcasting channels such as GMA, ABS-CBN, and TV5. In multiple instances, however, he was fired from a show because of derogatory and sexual remarks. In that episode, Will greeted co-host Mahal, who was celebrating her birthday, by saying, I hope you get de-virginized. Huh? ABS-CBN then suspended Will and Estrada for a week for using the terms PJ, which is widely understood to mean blowjob and jack call, which is a euphemism for masturbation. In another episode, Will and Estrada teased Mahal about her cleavage. Jesus Christ, leave that girl alone. Oh. However, that won't be the last of Will's controversies. In 2005, Will got his breakout show, Wawawi. In that show, contestants from the stand can participate in challenges for money. This can range from catching money in the air to playing tic-tac-toe to a dozen more competitions. Will's show quickly became a rival to It Bulaga, a show he once idolized. Will was now the frontman of a side in a two-sided television rivalship, fighting over ratings and viewership. Mama we began doing world tours, broadcasting episodes in different countries around the world, and began doing events to boost the show's popularity. Nauwi sa trahedya ang isa sa nang masayang pagdiriwang ng unang anniversaryo ng programang Wawawi ng ABS-CBN. 73 ang kumpirmadong patay nang magstampid ang libu-libong manonood sa Ultra. On February 4, 2006, 30,000 people gathered outside the Phil Sports Stadium in Pasig, Manila to celebrate the first anniversary of the show Wawawi. Prizes being given out range from a jeepney to the top prize of 1 million pesos. You see, the show mostly captivated lower income audiences attracted to the idea of instant wealth. So much of the crowd in the arena were even jobless people that were trying to get a prize. At around 6 a.m., the organizers began handing out tickets. People started rushing towards the queue. People started pushing forward and shoving people, forcing the guards to close the gate. However, the gate was on a sloped driveway. Then the gate suddenly gave in, crossing the people in front on top of many other people forcing their way into the stadium. 73 people lost their lives, while 800 others were injured. 
Investigation found that the cause of the surge of people forcing their way into the stadium was that the staff announced that only 300 people in the crowd would participate in any sort of prizes. 30,000 people were there in the hopes of a single prize. The Guinness World Book of Records cited this incident as the greatest death toll in a game show. This tragedy would cause major damage to the network. Threat of taking their license away and especially Will took massive damage. He wasn't at fault, but him being the host of the entire event, this would leave a stain in his name forever. However, Will was able to keep doing his show for the time being, which controversy would hit him right away. In 2007, in a segment of Wawawi, a contestant was given the choice of either taking 100,000 pesos or taking the chance of picking this wheel that would either be more prizes or nothing. The contestant picked 100k and inside the wheel was nothing. You could say the contestant correctly picked the right choice. However, when revealing the other prizes, Will would state that the highest price, the 2 million peso prize, was inside this violet wheel. What was inside that wheel? Nothing. Mind you that only one nothing wheel should be in play. But the supposed highest prize was no prize at all. <laughs> the network would state that this was just a mechanical glitch but many weren't convinced, saying that the entire show is just rigged. After this episode, one of the hosts of It Bulaga started talking about the incident, throwing shade at Will. <laughs> During the feud, the host jokingly remarked that the government should stop investigating the Hello Garcia scandal and investigate the incident, referring it to the Hello Papi scandal. After the scandal, the segment of the show when the incident happened was discontinued. In 2009, during an episode of Wawawi, the show was interrupted for a live coverage of the transfer of President Cory Aquino's remains to the Manila Cathedral. After the live coverage, Will would state that he could not make people happy while the entire country was mourning. I don't think na dapat ipakita yan, management. Eh, may hirapan ako magsalita rito, nagpapasaya ako. Nakikita ko yung ano ni Matita Cory. Sana pakitanggal naman muna yan. Many believe that he was disrespecting the late president, with many concluding that he may be right that the show shouldn't have been interrupted at the first place, but the way he said what he said was wrong. In 2010, Wawawi was pulled off the network. At the same time, Will started picking on a radio host due to criticisms of unfairly picking high school contestants that were barely passing school in an educational segment of the show. Will would state that the network should dismiss the radio host or he is leaving the network. Nagko-comment ko siya dahil meron kami naging guest na ang, ang mga grades ay 75%. Bakit doon namin gine-guest yung mga bobo? Alam mo, Jobert, dapat nga hinahangaan mo yung programang to. Araw-araw mo akong tinitira sa Jario, tinitira mo ako sa DCMM. Alam mo ba magkano kinikita ng Wawawi? Ha? Alam mo ba magkano kinikita ng Wawawi? Nakakatulong kami sa mga... Ano nga ng mga special child na to, guest namin? Tirahin mo to, sige. Tirahin mo to. 
Yan ang ginawa kung di ako tirahin. Ako na lang ang tirahin mo, Jobert. God may show. Hindi ko maintindihan ng management, pinapabayaan nyo na yung wawawi, pinapatira nyo sa isang katulad yan. Ang laki ng kinikita ng wawawi para sa ABS. Huwag naman, sa kayo mga tao ito nagbibigay. Mamimili na kayo. Pag hindi nyo yan tinanggal, ako mag-resign dito sa wawawi. Andahan nyo yan. The video host followed up calling his band as Bing Picon. So Will moved on to another network to start Will and Willie. This guy has a way with naming shows. However, his old network believed that it infringed on the copyright of Wawa Wee, resulting in a messy legal fight that resulted in the show being renamed from Will and Willie to Will Time Big Time. In 2011, during an episode of Will Time Big Time, Will brought out a 6 year old and his aunt onto the stage. After introducing the boy, Will instructs the kid to macho dance on a beat of Dr. Dre's song the next episode. <laughs> what? He would then proceed to tear up and began being laughed at by the audience. Even when the boy was given 10,000 pesos, it didn't help much. Will would then force the kid to start dancing several times all throughout the episode with the final time with the kid performing on top of a platform being surrounded by women. Many journalists and government institutions considered this was child abuse. I mean, how the fuck is it not? The show received a month-long suspension and Will was criticized into the ground. By this time, many have raised concerns over the nature of Will's shows, stating that this shows mainly attracts audiences that are attracted to the idea of quick fixes to poverty in the form of prizes. A quick fix does not solve anything permanent. The state of the Philippine television industry is a product of a long process of compromises and quick fixes. These quick fixes may be likened to drugs that are so addicting we end up being trapped in its unending cycles of perpetuating poverty and uneven power relations. In 2013, the program was changed into Wow Wow Willie. What happened to that copyright thingy majiki? Just over 9 months of airing, the show was then cancelled citing that Will wants to move on to other projects. What were those other projects? Well, during this time, Will was a part of TB5 Network doing Wawa Willie, but his first stint at Wawa Wee was at over ABS-CBN, and in that area of the network, he started pairing up with a certain businessman named Manny Villar, who's a very good Fortnite player. Will would then build Will Tower, which it is a condominium in front of the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Center, at that tower, there is the old Will Tower Mall, the W Bar, and the Will Steak Town. Yeah, this guy is a narcissist himself. However, in 2005, he got bored of Will Estate thing and planned his return to the show business. Wawa Win. Wawa Win. Holy fuck, Christ, another one? You might think that he is gonna go back to ABS CBN since he did a lot of stuff around that area. But, uh, no, 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 he doesn't. He joined the second biggest TV network in the country, and then the third. So why not the biggest television network in the country? Third time's the charm, right? I just vividly remember just Will kept on screaming, What the fuck is a jacket gonna do to crippling depth? Surprisingly, only incidents in the show were the only controversies. Will disqualified a group of contestants for participating one member that was from a completely different group. In 2022, Will's contact with Jimmy expired and- Oh! Look who's here! And he started his own network called Old TV. Will hopped on over to Old TV to continue his Wawa Win channel. The premiere for the Old TV Wawa Win was rated 0%. 0% TM. Because of low TV ratings, the program was moved to live streaming but can you really blame people for thinking this show was a mess? He's literally just vibing in his penthouse calling people and giving out money. How is that fun to watch? In 2023, the entire network fucking died, <laughs> forcing Will out of the network and Wawa Win ceases to exist. Nowadays, Old TV is just a second-hand network leeching off of different network's programs. So what does Will do now? He decides to run for senator. Jesus Christ. <laughs> During a rally in Davao City hosted by the former president, Will would announce that he would be running for senator for 2025. Two years ago, after COVID, 
Pinatawag po ako ni Senator Bongo at pinatawag din po ako ng mahal na Pangulo at ako po ay kinausap nila sa Malacanang. Yung po yung pagkakataon na pinapatakbo niya akong senador. Palagay ko, handa na ako. Three months later, he did that idea and signed a new contract going back to TV5. TV5, I just wanna say thank you for doing that. I don't want that fucking lunatic in that Senate. It's already so fucking bad of a Senate. But TV5, you already have it, Bulaga. You have too much viewer retention stop. And then on July 14, 2024, Will to Win started airing. I'm kind of sick of this video, you know. <laughs> now, I just want to state that the making up this video script was made before all of the other serious allegations that Mr. Beast is currently facing, just such as rigging many more videos, torturing his own employee for a video which can constitute as a literal human right violation and ending up scrapping that video, hiring a registered sex offender that was alleged of essaying an 11 year old and even being featured in one of Mr. Beast's videos. I think Will might have even had a better career than Mr. Beast if things just don't pan out for him right now. But that doesn't excuse the fact that Will is a very cynical person. Regularly aligning himself with people that are affiliated with a cult leader and establishing illegal Chinese human trafficking schemes, Will is also just another celebrity that is exploiting the idea of poverty porn to entice lower income viewers into his show and giving them an unrealistic hope for a one way ticket getting away from all of their issues in life if they receive a fucking jacket from him. Mistakes often happen in a person's life but at some point does it become intentional for the person's self interest. For now, I will be rating Will at a C tier in the Mr. Beast universe, which is actually pretty high when taking into account all of the shits that have been happening recently. Beep, beep, beep.